Now that that desperate search for that submarine that disappeared six days ago with 44 members on board, Lindsay Janice is in Argentina as rescue crews race against time. And Lindsay, the Navy now says what they thought were leads may have been false hope. Good morning, Robin. That's right. An Argentine Navy rescue ship said that it detected sounds coming from under the water, and that raised hopes here at the port where the ARA San Juan is based. But the U.S. Navy helping determine that those sounds were not coming from the missing submarine. As you can see, it is finally a beautiful day today. We spoke with Naval Command. They say conditions out in the search area off the coast are much better today. Have a look at the treacherous conditions they've been dealing with for several days. 25 foot seas hampering this search. On board, 44 crew members, including Argentina's first ever female submarine officer, Eliana Maria Krawczyk. She says her dream is to become the nation's first female submarine commander. The ARA San Juan has not been heard from in six days now. That since it reported an electrical fault, the race is on to get to these submariners in case they are running out of oxygen. Robin? Race against time. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Sure is.